there, I'm Chef L here at Whole Foods and I'm going to show you a delicious recipe for raspberry sauce covered goat cheese, which is actually ice cream. So let's take a look at the ingredients. We have chevre cheese, organic sugar, and vanilla bean paste. To make the raspberry sauce, this is really easy. Raspberries, simple syrup. And to make simple syrup, you take equal parts water and sugar and cook until it dissolves. That's it. Eggs, three whole eggs, two egg yolks, and the last thing we need is heavy cream and milk that's heating until it's boiling. So let's start with our custard. We have our eggs, sugar, and we want to mix the eggs and sugar until it becomes light and almost doubles in volume. And actually to get your eggs and sugar to increase in volume, you need to increase the speed to medium high. Add the chevre cheese and just gonna mix it until it's smooth consistency. It only takes about three to five minutes until it's actually doubled in volume. Add the vanilla bean paste. I like the vanilla bean paste because you have all the speckles of vanilla bean dancing on your tongue. It's already doubled in volume, so this is ready. So decrease the speed and we'll add the warm milk. And this is just tempering the egg so everything will become the same temperature. And keeping the mixture moving is, will help the eggs not to cook. Who wants fried eggs? Once we finish mixing this, we'll add it back to the pot and cook it until it reaches 170 degrees. This is ready, so you just add it back to the pot. And you wanna make sure that while it's cooking on a low heat, you stir it every now and then just so it won't stick. Once it reaches 170 degrees, which will be about 10, about 15 to 20 minutes, let it set to come room temperature, store it in a refrigerator to chill overnight, and then just follow your manufacturer's instructions for your ice cream freezer. Okay. While our custard is cooking, let's go ahead and finish the raspberry sauce. So we'll add our raspberries, and we're just gonna use a little hand mixer, the simple syrup, and this is such an easy sauce. Two ingredients, you won't have to buy it in the store again. Just pulverize it until it's a smooth sauce. And you're done. If you don't like the seeds of the raspberries, just take it to a sieve to strain them and you still have a very delicious sauce. Now that our raspberry sauce is prepared, and I've already gone ahead and frozen some ice cream and it's just as simple as one short custard is done, you freeze it according to your manufacturer's instructions. A scoop or two, depending on what you want. And raspberry sauce. Just a little time and you have fresh homemade ice cream with a delicious raspberry sauce.